Hey folks, David Fine here from Keys Moths. Uh, I got some great news. Let me take my earbud out. Um, I actually found a new colony of, of amethyst hair streaks right in the middle of this industrial concrete jungle, guys. All you gotta do is find some sea grape trees, like these sea grape trees that are ornamentally planted along the roadside here, and um, that's, that's all the habitat they need. So. Uh, I literally came down here, I saw these trees, and I'm looking for flower buds because I, I actually caught a female uh, mycetes at another location, and I need, I, need, I need fresh buds. Oh, oh, beautiful, I see something that makes me very happy. I need fresh flower buds to get them to lay eggs. They, as soon as the flower buds start to show, shoot up, I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. Watch this, guys. All right, it's midsummer, and most of the sea grape blooms, as you can see here, have spent. Like they, these were flower spikes a couple weeks ago. Uh, the flowers do not last long on the sea grapes. And uh, sorry, my lens is cracked. It's having a hard time focusing. But the, the most of the blooms have dropped their uh, the, the flower spikes have dropped their blooms. And now these are going to begin to start to seed. And what we've been doing, let me show you guys a flower spike. Okay, I'll show you this. What, what I've been doing is I've been using a flower spike like this to try and get eggs. As you can see, these are little buds. These are the buds of the flowers. They haven't quite opened up yet. These are about a day or two from opening up. And this was as close as I could get to uh, egg laying stuff. So about a day later, it'll look like this. Once these flowers open up, I mean, it's great food for the caterpillars, but the butterflies just won't lay eggs on it. They like to use uh, yeah, all this stuff here. That might, they might lay eggs on that. But as soon as these flower buds open up and start to bloom, uh, like this, these are, these are opening up now. They're starting to, this is too late. They're not going to lay eggs on this stuff. And so what, yeah, look at this. That's great. Whoop. That's great nectar source guys, but that is not, I, I need eggs. And in order to get eggs, I need a new brand new flower spike. So here's what I'm going to do. I found on this stem right here, that's the newest, let me zoom out. That's the newest spike I can find. I wish I could even find one newer than that. See, it hasn't really extended out all that long yet. Here's another one here. I'm actually gonna take both of these and uh, put those in a cup with, I, I just caught a female. <laughs> I, I didn't get it on video because I, I, I needed the butterfly. <laughs> okay, so now I have two females, one from this location, one from my other location. I am going to actually take this branch with me. Oh, I almost lost a flower spike. Guys, this right here, that's as close as I can, I've found on this, on this tree to what we need. So I'm gonna get this guy in water and get get our butterflies on it because I, I want to get my CD's eggs, guys. I've got two females and I've got flower spikes. Let's get some eggs. That was one for sure, bro. Yep. All right. Yeah, guys. So I have my son here. Uh, he is the extension net expert and these sea grape trees on the side of the road we're gonna try and see if we can find us a uh, mice my CDs you see one okay I think he's on the hunt oh okay okay let's see what happens guys let's see what happens um, mm -hmm. all right dude I think we got him uh, he's little can't tell if it's a boy or a girl yet, but she's in there. I had him. 
Come here. Always a little tricky. All right. Oh yeah. So, can you see her? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not sure if it's a boy or girl. Oh yeah. There's a good shot. Those are my CDs. All right, guys. Comment down below if you think that is a male or a female hair streak. But that is gold, guys. And we are literally right here in the middle of, like, northern Fort Lauderdale. And it's just, like, industrial complex right here where they're, I don't know, I think it has something to do with concrete. Uh, it's very loud, but there's a bunch of sea grapes here on the roadside. And I'm glad we got them. We're gonna try and get eggs, if, especially if it's a female. Uh, we're gonna try and confirm that. Mm -hmm. Good job, dude. Heck yeah. All right, guys, so I'm gonna put this guy in our cooler. We've got one of those little ice packs in there. Uh, let's see if we can get that guy home. Uh, actually, let, before we go, let's see if we can get another one. All right, we're continuing our tap method, just tapping the trees and seeing if we see any Lysenids flying. Tap the oak tree too. Sometimes they'll sit in, an oak, in the trees nearby, especially the males will perch on tr nearby trees and uh, And see, so this is this is the first time we're using this net. This is my extension net with a uh, painter's pole, and so far it's we're one for one on uh, the net with the painter's pole. I like it. It's a little heavier than the uh, than the small aluminum rods, but it's probably going to be a little bit more durable. Tap it in, baby. Tap it, tap. Tap up high. Tap down low. All right, let's check this last tree, and then we'll we'll head to the next spot. What did, I just, what did I just see? You saw it too? Tap a pie? No. Okay. Yeah. 